Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. If you're new here, welcome. And to my subscribers, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make this mouth-watering roasted curry chicken. If you like this type of video, keep watching. I'll start by making my seasoning blend called green seasoning, but it's known in other cultures by many other names. I'll use rosemary, sage, green onions, parsley, sweet onions, and blend well. I'll add a bit of water and some scotch bonnet pepper and blend a bit more. I'll get the chicken ready by removing the giblets, which could be used for gravy or even used to make a flavorful chicken stock. I'll remove the backbone by cutting alongside the neck to the tail. I'll break the breastbone by pressing down on the center. I'll clean the chicken by using warm water and lime juice and I'll also remove all the excess pieces of bones and fat. I'll now rinse the chicken once more with the lime juice and water, drain, and then pat dry with a paper towel. Time to season the chicken using oil, the green seasoning, my homemade spice blend, and my homemade curry. Click on the link above and you'll see how exactly I made the curry powder. And I'll be sure to have this full recipe linked in the description box below. Flip the chicken over and continue to season. You want to make sure that you get underneath the skin and between all the cracks and creases. Once I finish seasoning the chicken, I'll let it marinate for 30 to 45 minutes in the refrigerator, but overnight would be even better. While I wait for the chicken, I'll go ahead and clean the sink to get rid of all the bits and pieces of leftover chicken. Wanted to get rid of that raw chicken scent is to use a bit of baking soda and vinegar in the drain. The chicken has been well marinated. I'll cover with foil and bake in a preheated 450 degree oven for 60 minutes or until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees or until the juices run clear. During the last 10 minutes of baking, I'll remove the foil and have it broil for 10 minutes. Look at that bird, it's so crispy and juicy. I hope you give it a try. As always, thanks for the support. 
Continue to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notified every Wednesday and Friday when I post. Bye, guys.